Brahms one by group set is dominating the cyclocross scene at the moment, with many bike companies supplying its off-road racing machines with the one by setup. But what is it exactly that works for cyclocross riders? Well, let's take a look at what SRAM one by actually is. <laughs> The one by technology actually came from the mountain bike world. This worked so well for SRAM that they decided to move it into their cyclocross and road ranges. It is actually made up of three main components which all work together to give you a slick operation, even during the bumpiest of rides and races. Up front, the X-Sync chainring and chain have specific grooves that are tall, narrow and square edged for faster engagement and better chain retention. The X-Sync chainring has mud clearing recesses too for the inner chain links and rollers to carry on working effectively during a ride or race. This should not only help maintain your chain's motion, but its durability too. There are two really clever things about the rear derailleur. They have a clutch that keeps the chain taut and they have a straight parallelogram, which is basically a guide pulley that only moves side to side. This essentially means that the bumps will not cause a chain slap or derailment. Paired with the specific tooth profiling of the X-Sync chainring, the clutch mechanism and the parallelogram design should eliminate chain derailment totally. All these features are necessary because the front mech has been removed. SRAM say there are three basic advantages to the system. It's quieter, simpler, and the drivetrain is actually more secure than a double ring setup. Simplicity is eliminating parts that might fail but also parts that you might need to clean. It is also really handy to be able to get to your lowest gear without having to sink or to prepare that big front shift. In a cyclocross race, you can be racing six to seven minutes per lap and often find up to 20 different features along the way. As long as you have the range in your cassette, having that all in one hand means you can go into the right gear whatever the course throws at you. The American brand also say they've done lots of back-to-back -back testing testing the one by directly against the two by systems and they found that the one by drops fewer chains than the two by. It is quieter too, with no chain slap and no front mech for the chain to rub against, plus precise gear changes all add up for happier riding. And according to SRAM, this is the reason why riders are investing in cyclocross bikes. It not only makes cross a better experience, but means you can ride the bike all year round too. But what about gearing? Will this system leave you groveling up climbs or spinning out on descents? Well, the basic answer is no, because you've got a range of gears at the back. But what you need to do is do a little bit of research and find out what gearing works for your type of riding. Typically, for cyclocross racing, you'll only ever need a 38 tooth or a 40 tooth front chainring. But luckily, SRAM does offer everything from 38 right up to a 48 tooth chainring in the 110 BCD size. Anything bigger, you'll need to get a 130 BCD chainset. Looking at the pro bikes, you'll generally find a 42 tooth chainring, even a 44 on the faster courses. But for us mere mortals, and to keep the gear ratios closer together, a smaller front chainring is generally better and works across a range of courses, especially the ones in the UK. At the rear, you get a choice too. Typically, 1128 or an 1132, like you see here, will be your options for racing in the UK. Of course, the 1128 will give you a closer ratio, but the 1132 or even the 1136 will give you a range to tackle most, if not all, obstacles you'll face away from the racing scene. Also, using that smaller front chainring will enable you to use smaller cogs at the back, which are typically closer in jumps between gears too. SRAM suggests that a local rider on a typical cyclocross racing course will be happy on a 38 tooth chainring and 1128 or an 1132 at the back. However, if you do want to go and explore and maybe ride on some faster roads, SRAM suggests a 42 tooth chainring at the front would be better. SRAM with its one by drivetrain and its HRD brakes have one simple goal, and that is to create a happier and more joyful experience by simplifying.